I'm going to prove to folks that every person in this room is an environmentalist, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the connection that exists um, in that relationship to environmentalism and what's happening in our country. By a show of hands, in the last 60 seconds, how many folks have taken a breath of air? Hold your hand up if you've taken a breath of air. <laughs> Everybody look around. Everybody look around. Find the non-air breathers. <laughs> Seems like a silly question, doesn't it? Seems like a silly question because it's an autonomic response. It's something that we naturally do when we breathe in. We expect to be uh, receiving something positive to our bodies. But just like in Warren County, North Carolina, we have far too many communities across our country who are still battling every day for a breath of fresh air. Places like the Manchester community in Houston, Texas, primarily a Latino community. When you go to this community and you roll the windows down in your car, you feel like you're breathing in gasoline fumes. In our country, the wealthiest country supposedly on the planet, depending on how you evaluate wealth. Mossville, Louisiana. People have dioxins in their blood, many times coming from the emissions from plants. Port Arthur, Texas, where the hurricanes came through and where the pipelines end. People can't breathe. The plants, the refinery rule, which is so important to help to contain some of the emissions, they're being impacted. Children are being impacted in this space. And that's why when I ask the question, how many of you have taken a breath of fresh air? It is a very simplistic question, but there are many complexities that are underneath of that to make sure that the residents of our country have the opportunity to actually be able to move forward in a way. So when we talk about healthy and sustainable communities, we cannot get to that if we're not addressing our frontline communities. Everybody put your right hand in the air. I want y'all to join me. Everybody say power. power. Say power. power. One last time, I want you to hear the folks in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill and at the other place, <laughs> knowing that we have power and that we are going to stay engaged and that if you can't do the job, we'll find somebody who will. Everyone say power. power. I'm Mustafa Santiago Ali. <laughs>